Hello guys, it's uh, Petro TV here. Uh, this topic comes up fairly often, and I don't want to keep repeating myself by writing and stuff. So uh, basically, you've got a thread here on Reddit. I um, spent quite a bit of time on Reddit uh, writing and replying to posts. But for example, Ryzen 5 plotting slow, and someone has issues. And someone will explain their setup, okay? They have time for phase one, 1200 seconds, okay? Time for phase two, 4000 seconds, phase three, stuff like that, okay? Let's hover over to my one. Let's go to my plot. I just start restarted it, but you can see that I have quite a few running. So let's go on this one and 8,000 seconds for phase one. How many seconds short it is? Around 4,000 seconds short, so you can cut off so much time. This one, how many seconds shorter? Let's have a look. Where's the phase one? Seven thousand seconds. Okay, don't waste your time. I understand that it's best to have two cores, I mean two threads assigned to it. But these newer processors, they are more efficient. Yes, it's showing hundred percent here. Okay, but look, it's using actually sixty-five, seventy-six, eighty-nine, ninety-eight. It's not hundred percent all the time. Because once you go over that 31%, okay, it only uses one thread and it doesn't even use much processing power. So, here I kind of proved it that there is no diminishing return even if I use 12 cores. This guy is even probably using Linux. So, what I have on my system is. 32 gigabytes, 3800 MHz set to SSD is 980 Pro, 2 terabyte, I'm assuming, and just the Ryzen 5 3600. The only thing that's different about my 3600 is that it's overclocked to up to 4.2 gigahertz and it has a better cooler. So if you have a stock cooler that comes with the processor, replace it. Because it's really, really bad. You need something better. Either buy the next one up, which comes with the like Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 processors, the RGB one, which I use, which is much better. Or if you can want to, you can invest into a better cooler. But I don't know if it's uh, necessary. So just invest in like decent uh, cooler because the stock one is really rubbish. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to say I did comment on the videos that I have posted. Where is it? I posted uh, in the videos. I in comments I posted the res results. And here these are for the tables, the two threads. It you see the utilization of the CPU is much higher. The more threads you sign, of course, uh, people think of it. Uh, threads as being you know that you can do only two at a time but the more you have basically more workload there is to be done for this application if you think about this uh, it's actually one app it's like having a game or uh, brave it has lots of threads so same for game as as you can utilize. If you do the same thing, let's say you put it on two cores, you will notice your utilization is around thirty percent, fifty percent. I'm sitting around hundred, so I'm making most of it my CPU, um, and that's why I set it to twelve threads. If you have older processor, just bear that in mind. It's gonna be extremely slow. I do not recommend this for old processors. So if you have a Ryzen, you should be fine. First, second, third gen. If you have anything that's 
older than 8th gen Intel, then you might struggle. Especially if you have a, let's say, 6 cores and 6 threads uh, i5, I then you can only do 3 plots. Because uh, for some reason I noticed that these processes that have only 6 logical processes struggle. And they can only do three plots in a parallel. So parallel meaning that they are delayed evenly. I had this running with seven plots and it still wasn't peaking at 100%. Uh, I only restarted this just to make a video for you guys and show you how it works. Unfortunately, I won't be uh, doing a speed comparison because I'm very behind in plotting. I already cancelled it three times just to do the previous video and set it up correctly. Also, I did the comparisons and I put it up on the uh, comments in Chia fastest plotting speed Horizon 5. Of course, you can get probably more out of it, but I don't think the processor will let it let you do it. You could, could but it will highly depend on the RAM. Because I saw that if you assign more RAM, the processor can uh, do it faster. Because uh, to the plot, you can assign a maximum of 6.75. So let's say you put 7,000. This is kind of max. You don't want to add more RAM. You don't want to put, let's say, 32 gigabytes uh, and, and parallel. That's a no no. You don't want to do that. I'm not gonna do 20 in parallel, but what I'm trying to say is it will allocate more memory than it actually is going to use, and it's just a waste for you. Uh, just be smart about it and allocate how much you have. Uh, if you wanted more information, just post a comment down below. And if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm currently growing very slowly, uh, I do have like <laughs> 20 new subscribers but i'm very happy with where we're going i might cover more chia and give more details about uh, how i work i might even do a video on my setup what drives do i buy and etc so if you enjoy the content leave a like and that's pretty much it uh, stay tuned for another video thank you very much for watching